Hello everyone, this is Francesco from La Jara Winery. In hot times of the year, like now, we don't like to stay the whole day in the kitchen preparing complicated meals like lasagna or bolognese sauce. We prefer to stay at home and have just some light dishes that can be prepared in a very short time and that can change the way we feel the day. We, we want something refreshing. That's why we make something like what we're going to make now, which is caprese. Everyone knows that. It's famous all over the world. It's made with mozzarella cheese, some tomatoes, and then just some seasoning. And today we're going to bear it with our favorite bubbles, our Merlot Blanc de Noir. It's a brute sparkling wine, and we think it's perfect for Cabrese. I'll show you how to do it now. First of all, let's start off with the ingredients. What you need to make a nice Cabrese is, first of all, mozzarella cheese, obviously. It's the queen of this meal. Then we have some nice tomatoes, some salt and pepper, oregano, basil leaves, and then as a final seasoning, we will use some olive oil. We will put our cabrese in a nice big plate like this, so that we can make a showy presentation for our cabrese. We start by cutting our mozzarella cheese in thin slices, not too thin, not too thick. I'll show you the correct size for a slice for a caprese. Okay, so this is the first one. Then you see all the milk pouring out from the cheese. When you have fresh cheese, you can see the milk pouring out over here. This is exactly how a slice of mozzarella for caprese should look like. Then we go on and we keep doing our job. Then there's the tomatoes. We go on and we got tomatoes in slices. Pretty much the same size that we use for mozzarella cheese. Last part, we build our cabrese. So we start by taking all the slices of tomato and mozzarella cheese that we cut a while ago and we create the shape that we like. We usually make a round shape, just like I'm doing right now. Here you have it. Last but not least, the seasoning. So here we have our salt with pepper. We spray it all over so that we create a nice seasoning for our caprese. Then what comes next is oregano. We do the same thing. Here you have it. You can add more, you can add less. It's up to your taste. Here you go. Then we have another important part of the Dish, which is our basil. So we can create a nice shape with it. Here you go. And then olive oil. There you have it. And our cabrese is ready to be eaten. Here you go. If you want, you can have it together with some bread that we have over here. With Cabrese, we love to pair our Merlot Spumante Brut Blanc de Noir. You know Blanc de Noir means Blanc, white, which means it's a white wine, a sparkling wine in this case, de Noir. So Noir means black, which is referred to the black grapes, the red grapes. So it's a white wine made from red grapes, our Merlot. It's a brute sparkling wine, which means it's quite dry. So it's perfect with dishes like this one that leave inside your mouth some of the 
oil, some of the creamy parts of the mozzarella cheese, so that when you drink it, the bubbles take away all the creaminess that comes from the cheese and the flavor of the wine and the flavor of the caprese blend together in a perfect mix that will make both wine and caprese even more enjoyable. So what else to say? We have our dish, we have our wine, so it's time to eat and drink. Let's enjoy it. We look forward to having you here. Ciao.